Hello, my name is Alan Smith. I'll be the instructor for the course you'll be taking, SPED 672, Classroom Management, Curriculum Development for Grade 7 through 12, Secondary School. Uh, the reason it's called that, uh, when you look at classroom, uh, curriculum development and classroom management, they're really integrated uh, without effective classroom strategies, differentiating instruction, individualizing instruction in different ways. Uh, it helps to maximize instructional time and minimize classroom disruptions if, if you teach effectively and uh, interact and engage with your students. Conversely, if you have good classroom management in terms of organizational skills, uh, you will maximize instructional time. That's why it's called that. So when you are taking this class, I'm not going to dichotomize specifically between curriculum development and classroom management because they go hand in hand, as we'll see in this course, especially when you're working with students with disabilities, which is the emphasis of this course, and particularly students, uh, adolescent students, pubescent as well as adolescents in the middle schools and high schools. And this course will be geared specifically to working with the these student body. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I believe in theory and there'll be many uh, readings and videos and PowerPoints which will present theoretical frameworks for what we'll be discussing. But from my experience, so there'll be a lot of practical applications. I was a public school teacher, mentor, uh, dean uh, in the middle school and in the high school, as well as administrator uh, for more than 35 years uh, in both New York City and on Long Island. So, uh, I've had a lot of practical, diverse experiences, which hopefully I'll share with you and which will benefit you when we discuss these various topics. So just to give you a little background on that information, I do have some notes, so I apologize if I refer to them to make sure I cover everything. I want to briefly discuss some elements of this course. So you get a framework I specifically uh, require you to, and, to use and, and look at the course outline. This provides a nice overview of what uh, specifically you require in this course. Read it carefully. If you have any questions, please email me at allen.smith, S-M-I-T-H, at Turo.edu, and I usually will get back to you within 24 hours. The heart of the course is this 12-week online program. It's called the Discussion Board. And if you've taken courses previously, you're somewhat familiar with this, and each week there's a different theme week. You'll see the listing of them in the course outline in terms of what we'll be discussing each week and when the deadlines are for them. Each of these 12 weeks, you'll be required to respond to certain discussion board questions as well as interact with your classmates. So there'll be a minimum of three postings you're going to have to make for each of these three weeks, uh, 12 weeks rather. So uh, you have to uh, respond to these questions within the week because you cannot do it after that week is concluded because we'll be going on to the next week and you won't be getting any credit for late responses after the week is over. Sometimes I'll be locking the week so you can't uh, respond to any of the responses you know, questions and, and such. So please do it within the time framework and you can uh, uh, receive full credit for that when you do that. So uh, the, the course outline details specifically, it's worth about a third of your grade. So it's important that you take it seriously, do it conscientiously, integrate the readings with it, as well as uh, reacting to your classmates' comments. And this will be helpful and beneficial to you in the, in the course and getting the most uh, benefit from uh, your experience of working in this program in this course. Uh, Second important part of this will be weekly assignments. You don't get it every week, but you'll be getting them at least six of the weeks, uh, which are specified in the course outline. That's a little bit extra where you'll be uh, having an additional uh, uh, writing assignment. Please check the grammar, spelling, and everything else. Uh, the specifics in terms of the rubric, not like for this particular assignment, but for all assignments are, are given within the course outline. So that's material that you need to look at, and uh, uh, I'll be posting that in the weekly content. Uh, if you look at the links, not only is there one for discussion board, there'll be one for the course outline, the readings which will provide the readings for the week. Uh, and uh, regarding the readings, the two main textbooks we're going to be using for the, book, for the program is a Tomlinson book about differentiating instruction, as well as a Nielsen book, uh, which is uh, on brief reference of disabilities. It's, it's, they're clearly given and specified and detailed within the course outline. I recommend you get them as soon as possible. We'll be using them. These are very useful books from uh, feedback from many students who have taken this course. They keep these books, use them as part of a professional library. They're very beneficial to you and will help you in your professional careers. Additional assignments will involve lesson plans, uh, specifically differentiated instructional activities working with students with disabilities on the secondary school level. There'll be a research article you'll have to uh, conclude, complete, 
complete and that will be also part of the requirements. Uh, you'll have to send that to me prior to you writing it so I can give you the approval of the article and make sure it pertains to students with disabilities as well as on the secondary level and dealing with curriculum uh, development or classroom management. And then I'll provide more details and you can see that in the course outline. Depending on the week you're assigned, you'll be doing a specific assignment, uh, you know, research article pertaining to that week's thing. There will also be some case studies which you'd have to complete. That is a basic overview. The course outline, and again, please read it carefully. There's a number of pages in there. If you do have questions about this course outline, uh, please uh, send me an email. There will also be in there, in the, in the uh, course outline, it also has specifics in terms of what you need to do. It's part of the overall discussion board, which has the weekly assignments uh, to the weekly themes. The first section is introductions. Please introduce yourself to your classmates. You do that prior to the course and tell a little bit about yourself and why you want to take the course and how it will benefit you. So that, that's a basic overview of the course. So for feedback from students who have taken this previously, they found it very helpful to them in their uh, overall experiences, whether they're entering teaching at this point or uh, in, have been taught for a number of years. Uh, I'm always open to suggestions. If you have questions during the course, uh, things or information you need that would further help you, please uh, email me and I'll do my best to uh, respond to them. So I hope you do have an excellent uh, you know, semester, uh, this spring semester, and uh, I hope that uh, this will be of great benefit to you for uh, not only for your present, but for your future. So uh, again, uh, this is the uh, overview and uh, I will be ready for any questions that you have after reading the course outline. Okay, thank you and have a good day.